This is an iPad I recently purchased used. And you can see right now it's at 100%. It's over 10 months old. And so, unfortunately, if you install any of these battery apps through the App Store, like over here, none of them will give you the current battery capacity on your iPad because in iOS 12, they remove this capability. I don't know why you'd want to remove it. I think it's pretty useful information and it only makes me kind of wonder. So if I go to this very first one, you can see that they even have a disclaimer here that there's no way for them to check the battery level on iOS 12. And that's the same for other battery apps over here. If I go to battery testing over here, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. And you can see it's pretty not that great. So if you have an Mac computer, here's my Mac Mini over here, you can install a coconut battery, plug a USB port to your iPad, and then open up Coconut Battery. So I have it downloaded and installed here. And so here it loads up, and if you click on iOS device, give you all the details. So again, it's about a year later, it was manufactured August 2018. Now it's August, I mean July 2018. It's now July 2019. And if you look at the very bottom, I'm surprised to see that the cycle count over here is only 13. So I was very fortunate buying this used iPad. It wasn't either the battery was replaced or it wasn't used that much.